We're going to make a short uh, video presentation this afternoon uh, on some key uh, financial performance indicators and I'll explain in a minute what these are. <coughs> My name is Craig Fraser, I'm Finance Director of MIC. Uh, we specialise in the motor industry and um, my particular role, obviously I'm involved with, um, with finance. Uh, I've been in industry 30 years and, uh, and one of the things that uh, I've found is that um, ratios and key, key performance indicators quite often uh, aren't used sufficiently to measure the business performance uh, and, and see how the business is actually faring against competition. So these are benchmarks, they are financial indicators uh, on certain parts of the business. And the first um, key performance indicator I'd like to talk to you about is efficiency, overall efficiency in the service department. Now this is made up of two very important uh, factors. One is the utilisation of technicians in the workshop and then the technician's productivity. So what is utilisation? Utilisation is basically the number of clocked hours, so that is the number of hours that somebody has clocked on and off a job, and that as a percentage of attended hours, so that's the whole attendance over the day. So if you're looking at it on a daily basis, you'd look at the clocked hours over the attended hours, and that is actually utilisation. Efficiency also includes productivity, and that again includes the clock hours. It's now the sold hours that each technician achieves versus the hours that have actually clocked on the job. And if you take these two ratios together, you'll notice that clocked hours will actually come out of it, and you'll end up with sold hours over attended hours. So the key efficiency ratio, or the key performance indicator, is sold hours versus attended hours. And the ratio we should be looking at here in the business is about 100%. And that would be made up of 90% utilisation and hopefully around about 110% productivity because you should be able to be, beat standard times uh, on that kind of basis. I'd also like to um, talk a little bit about gross profit and what that means to you in the service department. And the gross profit percentage is obviously the margin that you make on the hours that you've sold. And that ratio basically is hours sold times the labour rate. So whatever rate you're charging out times the number of hours sold minus the hours you've actually paid your technician. And that is then divided by the hours sold times the labour rate and that will give you your gross profit percentage. Now, you should be aiming to get a margin, gross profit percentage, of around about 75%. If you're getting lower than that, then you'd have to look at the causes and why. And it could be that um, you are just not charging enough or you're actually paying your technicians too much. Having, having uh, explained the gross profit percentage to you and what that means and the ratio we're looking for, that then gives us a guide to uh, another very, very important KPI, which is a barometer or a measure of your expenses to that gross profit. So in this particular KPI, we'd be looking at the service expenses, the direct expenses to the service department uh, as a proportion of service gross profit. So you've already calculated your, your gross profit and you then take your expenses and divide it by that gross profit. Now the key here is you should be aiming for about 50%. Now businesses that I go into uh, and get involved in, in, in terms of trying to improve their profitability, I often find that the ratio here can be quite high. It can be 65% or even above if that is the case, then it's very, very difficult to get the return you want from the service department because your expenses are far too high. And therefore, that 50% is fundamental in terms of a benchmark that you should be aiming for. Small and large, this is a very, very key KPI because it means if your service department and your parts department and in fact your body shop in some cases, if these profits that you're... Uh, generating from these departments 
they, they, they are going to be measured against the total indirect cost that you have. So if you add the parts department profit, the service department profit, and any other aftermarket department profits, and divide that by your total indirects, that will give you the ratio that you're looking for. Now you should be aiming for something like 75% of your profit coming from these aftermarket departments. If you're getting lower than that, and in some cases I've seen recently where people are only getting 50 to 60%, then you, you could have a big problem. Now, in some cases, the service department and the parts department may be the only departments that you have. So it's important, therefore, even more important, that if you've got a car dealership selling cars, then you would probably want that figure to be a lot higher, of course. So it's so important that you, first of all, understand this ratio and you understand how you are comparing against your peers and you have a benchmark. Now, these are just, this is just a little indication of some of the KPIs that you can look at each month. Um, in our next uh, presentation, I will co come on to some more that you can be looking at and building up. There's one thing I'd like to finish with, and it's something I've come across recently uh, and I think is very, very important. And it's, it's a, a book I read from a, a, an author called Ken Blanchard, and it's called The One Minute Manager. And I think if you can get a hold of this book, I would recommend it to you. But it gives you three basic ingredients which I totally believe in. The One Minute Manager talks about three essential things. One is setting goals, and you should do it on a very quick basis, but it's communicating and cascading that information right down through your management and to your staff. And this is important in small companies and large companies. So it's setting goals. The second aspect of it is actually taking time. And again, it's a very short space of time. And this is where the one minute comes from. But spending a minute or two with your staff and praising them for what they're doing well. And the third part is the same thing again, taking a minute or two each day to look at reprimanding people who are actually making mistakes and helping them to overcome these problems. And I'm going to talk uh, about these three aspects in more detail in the next video. But I would certainly recommend that you look at this book. It's very simple and it'll only take you probably an hour or two to read, but it's first class for management. Thank you very much this afternoon.